What's new? The standard trim has been discontinued. Part of the first generation GS6 introduced in 2021. Do you want to impress your friends with a unique car? Tell them you bought a 2022 Karma GS6. Not many people are familiar with this car, as it has roots tracing back to the old Karma GS6 from over a decade ago. The 2022 Karma GS6 is essentially an updated version of that sleek plug-in hybrid sports sedan. The car features an extended range plug-in hybrid electric powertrain that includes two electric motors and a 28 kilowatt hour battery pack. The car's power output is impressive, with 536 horsepower and 550 lbft of torque delivered to the rear wheels. The fully charged battery provides an EPA estimated 61 miles of all-electric driving, which is double the typical range of most plug-in hybrids. After that, the BMW sourced turbocharged 1.5-liter three-cylinder gasoline engine kicks in, serving as an onboard generator and extending the car's total range to 330 miles, as estimated by the EPA. However, owning a GS6 can be a confusing decision, as it has significant drawbacks. Keep reading our expert rating below to find out more about the car's pros and cons. Driving Experience The GS6 uses a series plug-in hybrid powertrain, meaning the BMW sourced internal combustion engine charges the battery but doesn't drive the wheels. This makes the GS6 feel like a pure electric vehicle most of the time, with smooth power delivery and plenty of torque. The car can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, which is quick, but not as fast as other EVs or gasoline-powered sport sedans. The GS6's emergency braking performance and pedal feel also lag behind most rivals, making it difficult to stop smoothly during typical driving. On the plus side, the car handles well, with a neutral balance and responsive steering, although we wish the steering were a bit quicker for better maneuverability at low speeds. The GS6 ride comfort is a mix of sportiness and comfort, but with the available 22-inch wheels, you'll feel the road imperfections. The seats are padded and supportive, but lack adjustments, making it difficult to find your ideal seating position. The car also isn't as quiet or isolating as it should be, with wind and tire noise being more noticeable in pure EV mode. The gas engine can also be loud and uncouth when it fires up to charge the battery, especially in sport mode. The GS6 is a four-door car, but it's best to think of it as a cozy 2 plus 2 seater with easier access to the rear seats. However, the interior is cramped and visibility is limited due to the narrow windows and long hood. Getting in and out of the car is also more like getting in and out of a sports car, as it sits low. The front seats are comfortable but the rear seats are best for short trips or shorter passengers. The infotainment controls, including climate control, are operated through the touch screen, which is mounted low in the dashboard and requires the driver to take their eyes off the road. Tech Smaller automakers tend to struggle in the tech department, and the GS6 is no exception. The car's infotainment system lacks a built-in navigation system, which is surprising for a car at this price point. However, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard and offer better navigation options. The GS6 includes two.